Hello, hello, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In this series we will focus on the Stranger missions, which are the side quests dotted throughout the map. And this one I've been waiting a while for. It is the uh, Noblest of Men and a Woman, Part 2. So we pick up the story where we left off in the last episode and I have just been back to the tailors and redonned my red tie. So we need to make our way over to Valentine and we're going to finish off a stranger mission that we started way back in chapter 1. Now unfortunately things went quite badly in chapter 1 and it has taken until now for the game to reset enough that the bartender we beat up in chapter 1 has finally healed enough and the bar has reopened and we can go and find out what happened to Callaway. Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Callaway and a rider called Levin. Drunk boy Callaway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Saint Denis on a riverboat? Oh, okay then. Saint Denis, you say? Oh, thanks, mate. I've literally just come all the way from there to here to find out I have to go back there. So. Off to St. Denis we go. Now, do we take a train? No, we'll take the horse. Come on up, office. You could do with a bit of a clean-up as well. So, we're going to make our way back to St. Denis. And we are going to approach the riverboat. The one we have literally just robbed. And we're going to go and see Jim Boy Calloway. And his writer friend. And we are going to conclude their story. Like I said, we started this in chapter 1. But things went quite badly for me. And we've had to wait quite a while before we can pick it up and continue. So we're just going to ask around. We're looking for an old drunk gunslinger and an overweight writer bookish type. It seems that the guard knows exactly who we're talking about. So we're going to pop up and see him. Oh, Hello! With no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, uh, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh... <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we, said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as... I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. Not so goddamn fast! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass snake? Uh, you know, I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. But I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... Get, I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me! What right a way with words. Uh, damn you, Zero Eleven! You're a snake! Damn you! Damn you, nobody! Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't. I... I'm an old man. This never happened to Achilles, the Gawain, the Caesar. You can't happen to me. I'm gonna kill them both here. Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend! Yes, you are. <sighs> all, right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove... Nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. 
Maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here! No, 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 no. <laughs> let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now, you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. All right, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. So, we are going to set up a duel between uh, Slim Grant, who happens to be quite a high up lawman up in the north of the map, and Jim Boyer Calloway, who is accusing him of killing his cousin 20 years ago. So, we're going to make our way up to Annisburg and up to the sheriff's office here. hope this train doesn't run my horse over. Stay there, Apophis. Be safe. So, maybe they have a side door. It looks like a door. No, it's just a lump of wood. I thought there was a door there. Silly place to leave a lump of wood. There's actually quite a few lumps, but one of them was very much door-shaped. Right, so, into the sheriff's office, and let's find out where Slim is. You. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshal was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long's he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? <laughs> well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become Marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> So, Slim is off in the wilderness somewhere after a group of bandits. Uh, let's hope he hasn't found them. Uh, we might find them first. So we're gonna make our way over to where he is. And just as I arrive, I almost run straight into the bandit camp. Luckily I managed to veer off at the last second and up this hill, which gives me the higher ground. So unfortunately, it's over Anakin. Uh, I'm gonna actually use Deadeye for a change, and normally I don't really bother. But I have an opportunity here to take out multiple targets by surprise, nice and quickly, if I'm quick enough. That's three of them. I don't know how many there are in total. I think there's at least one more. I see you moving there, mate. <sighs> and down you go. So that was exciting. Three people never saw it coming. One person tied to the tree here, I'm guessing this is Slim, had a front row seat. Slim Grant. <sighs> okay, let's get you out of here. Yes, indeed son. <sighs> Well, getting Slim Grant to come with us to the duel with Jim Boyer Calloway is going to be somewhat easier like this. I thought we may have to convince him or drag him or lasso him or something. But it turns out the bandits we've eliminated have done all the hard work for us. Thanks a lot for that guys. You've saved me a lot of time. So we're going to take our new friend here and we're going to meet up with the writer and Jim Boy Calloway 
and these two can settle their differences like men of the old west and they're gonna have themselves a duel right come with me sir I am sorry about this please don't put me in prison if you survive <laughs> so you got him I think so did you kill his cousin back in 82 whose cousin my cousin I never shot no one didn't deserve it uh, you shot Jed Calloway and I told you then I'd shoot you too and I would have you'd shown up I was there no you weren't you left town you take that back but I don't care now it's nigh on 20 years ago we're old men we're lucky fight me you're an old man come on fight me it's a bit late isn't it God damn you oh! That settles that, then. I shot him back. I shot him in the goddamn back. And these things happen. God damn you, goddamn both of you! Now calm down. Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on, draw! Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! Indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, don't you start now. Uh, no, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No. And you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, well, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. <laughs> oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. Nice waterfall. So that brings an end to the story of Jim Boy Calloway, the last of the gunslingers. Uh, we're going to leave the story there for now, even though we have kind of backtracked a little bit to get this complete. Uh, we're going to pick up the story again in the next episode. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.